Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nijisa and today I'm going to go through the patch note for Lily and explain why she actually got buff instead of nerf, right? So if you guys haven't already seen the patch notes, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through them real quick and we will just be done with it and I'll kind of explain to you guys all the stuff that was fixed, right? Aside from all the actual system stuff like, you know, only generic throws are homing now, you know, and, um, you know, rage uh, and heat bursts no longer tracks, uh, you know, all the generic stuff, it's universal. So I'm not going to go into it too much. And, um, like rage, rage, uh, heat art, rage art also universally buff, you know, so her homing options are better tracking now. Uh, and then the, you know, the four, four or three option stuff, this is actually a buff in my opinion, not a real nerf. So if you guys know before this used to push very far off and you don't really get any real mix up, right? You still really don't because you can tell, uh, they do fall kind of far. And I do feel like the, uh, heat consumption feels like it takes a lot more now too right like it disappears faster but the point is why is it uh so much more buff than the nerf here is because if you guys remember at the wall this move only was like plus nine or plus seven right with uh fessy rap uh, with the uh with the uh wall stagger with the wall stagger it only had like plus seven or plus nine anyways so now you get an actual plus seven and plus uh, five, right? When you're doing that move and you get it all the time. You're not just getting it at the wall now, you get it all the time. So that's a huge buff, right? Okay, so next, 113. 113 actually doesn't feel like a nerf at all. I'll just tell you guys that uh, everything remains true to 113. The only, uh, the only thing that makes it a nerf is because when you do 1-1 one, one and you hold back, if they're scouting out that you're doing 1-1, one, one, right, and you're stopping, most of the time people will always jab you, right? So what happens here is that you would do 1-1 one, one and you would duck, right? So in this case, if you do do one one and you duck, they won't be able to hit you, right? So you'll have to go for like a mid, right? But now, because the frames is a little bit slower, even if you hold back, if they have a 12 frame mid, they can actually hit you. However, with the threat of the third hit, if they delay even for a small second, they're going to be able to whiff this, right? So, all in all, I don't find it too weakened. You know, it's still pretty good, 1-1. One, one. And then uh, the actual move that it did get nerfed quite a bit is 4-3-plus-4. Uh, four, four. It used to be minus 4, so, you know, you have a lot of option to, uh, you know, set up your opponent with certain options, you know, like maybe a metrodom for like all the noobs, right? All the noob lily players. And, you know, like they would do like this and sidestep, you know, stuff like that. But because it's minus nine now, you can't really do all that setup. So, you know, all the noobs would probably be pissed because they get, they, they lose out on a lot of their uh, setups, right? And I'm not saying noobs does it, you know, I'm just saying like players that love to use setups, they're going to be pissed, right? And then next you got the down three. This is a real big nerf in my opinion. And I do get really upset about this one uh, because we got characters like Leo. Like I keep saying, right? Like I would never stop talking about Leo who has a plus five move, high crush, low attack that does like 20 damage counter hit launches and is only minus 12 and yet it doesn't get nerfed right and moves like this get nerfed because people use it a lot i guess like 
Leo player probably spammed the shit out of theirs too, but no one ever says anything because nobody plays Leo, I guess. Okay, next, uh, an option where I think people feel like it's huge nerf for Lily, but I don't, is the, the way that uh, moves hit now when they're knocked down, right? So if you guys see sidestep 3 still gives you a combo, even though uh, at first I thought this was interpreted as it won't give you a combo anymore, all it means is now it gives you this weird knockdown back that your opponent gets further away and they can get away from your Okizimi, right? So now you don't get an Okizimi anymore. And that also applies to quarter circle 4 or 3. So actually, it's not a real nerf because in my opinion, I've never really taken that Okizimi to heart where like I'm just going to like continue to spam those uh, mix-ups uh, Yeah, so Not a real nerf to my opinion, you know, and then next the sidestep 4 If you guys remember correctly sidestep 4 didn't give this kind of launch. It just gave you like a small stun now you actually get a full combo and because this gives you a full combo, it's a huge buff in my opinion, right? It's just a huge buff. Um, it makes you like now, well, I'm going to use this move a little bit more now, even though sidestep 3 is still way better, right? Because you get, it's faster and it also gives you like 40 damage on a normal hit, like a normal hit. This one does require a counter hit to get the full damage right and if you just hit on normal you only get like 18 damage right so it's still a good move it's just like if you have to use one of because both moves are safe it's just hard that when you use this move you're getting just as rewarded right or more reward let me rephrase that if you get the hit right the other one you need a counter hit right okay Next, uh, sidestep three, and uh, not sidestep three, core circle four three, right? So this move did get a little bit of nerf. The good thing was that the damage didn't get nerfed, I think, right? As far as I can tell, the damage uh, is 28. Was it always 28 or was it 30? I don't remember. But um, core circle four three did get nerfed. In terms of the frame, now it's punishable on block. And yeah, for the most part, nothing else really changed uh, other than that. Um, I don't even know the uh, thing about what they're saying. This back turn option is faster now or some shit. But I don't really understand it because the frames are still the same. So yeah. And then Feisty Rabbit as well. Uh, I don't know. For the most part, I feel that the character is actually buffed instead of nerfed. So, um, I don't know. What's your guys' opinion?